the arrival of cold weather. Ski season, that's not far behind. And for those who hit the slopes this year, there will be some changes because of COVID-19 that will make this upcoming season look quite different. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling is live tonight with a look at what you might encounter the next time you make a trip up to the mountain, Jennifer. Good evening, Wayne. There will be some social distancing rules in place and mask requirements, but in addition to that, you'll notice some other things from everything from equipment rental to purchasing lift tickets. You'll definitely notice some differences. When you're on the slope skiing and snowboarding, it's going to be just like it always has been. You know, it's going to be fun. While the thrill of hitting the mountain won't change, Dave Tregathon of Mount Hood Meadows says this year's season might require some extra planning. If you don't already have your pass or a lift ticket that you've purchased online in advance that's good for the day that you're coming, you shouldn't come up. Because of a new system that staff has created to spread out the arrival times, buying tickets online and planning ahead for rentals will be key. You shouldn't just expect that I can arrive at 9 o'clock on a Saturday, busy Saturday, and that there's going to be a lift ticket waiting for you. In fact, all of our ski rentals and all of our lesson programs require advanced purchase as well. Dave showed us how their new system is designed to work with staggered start times to shift the crowds. Uh, when you see on average on our busiest days, we have this volume that's above that line. We're actually coming up with a way to move it into later parts of the day through the new ticketing system that we have, which has a nine o'clock start, a noon start, a two o'clock start, and a five o'clock start. If you're picking up rental equipment, you'll also notice some changes. Dave says you'll provide your reservation to staff and then they'll get you in and out quickly. You can step right into our boot room, get food fitted with their boots, and go off of the boot ramp and their skis or their snowboard are actually waiting outside not inside. RV and chartered vehicle parking has also moved to make room for drop-offs. This kind of shows where we're going to be doing the enhanced parking drop-off. Dave says drivers will drop and pick up passengers here and shuttle buses will transport drivers only to limit the number of folks on those shuttles. It really requires everybody to be thinking in advance Good advice to plan for this. They'll be using pricing incentives in order to get people to go on the non peak days as well as perhaps the non peak hours. And again, those lift tickets will be time coded so you'll be able to ski at 9 a.m. noon, 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock. Back to you, Wayne. All right, we're going to focus on those organizational skills this year. Thank you, Jennifer.